No, this isn't the breakfast studio, it is Songs of Praise. And for my first programme, we've come to West Wales, to the tiny city of St David's in Pembrokeshire, to see how people here are celebrating Christmas. But first, I've got to vote for my favourite tree. So, I try to master a Christmas anthem in Welsh. There's always room at the inn here in St David's. Carols from the city's stunning cathedral. And festive music from Rhys Merio. Come over here, come around here. Here we are. This is a great idea. Every child in St David's gets a special gift from Santa. The presents are handed out during the annual Christmas tree festival in the City Hall. Started back in 2004, one of our past association members, she'd been to Iceland and this happened in Iceland, so she brought it back to the committee. And as you can see, it's just grown and we do it every year now. It's a tradition in St David's. And we start with... And the prizes for the best trees in the festival are presented at the Christmas light ceremony in the city square. And the overall winner is... Peter's Fruit and Vet Shop! Well, this is the beginning of our Christmas celebration and we've got a very strong sense of community here and it's wonderful that people gather together. It's only a little village of 1,500 people and yet, you know, uh, everybody knows everybody and Christmas is a, an amazing time. St David's has the population and atmosphere of a village but it's actually the UK's smallest city on account of its hidden gem. St David's is a magnificent cathedral and local choirs and congregations have come together to sing for us. They're going to start with a well-known Welsh folk song often sung at Christmas time, Arhid de Nus, All Through the Night. I must say, they have some rather unusual Christmas customs here in St. David's. One of them involves this young fella here. 
He's called Bambino, or Little Child, and every December he becomes part of the city's Christmas preparations. The first Sunday of Advent is when the Bambino is first presented. He's presented at the parish Eucharist service and the first parishioner receives the Bambino and takes them into their home and that's where he starts his journey throughout the parish and to the whole of Advent then he travels throughout everyone's homes to be part of their Christmas celebrations. It's not just young families, it's people maybe who are on their own or elderly people who just feel like a nice companionship of having Christ coming into their lives. Come in. The sign of Christmas is, is finally arrived when Bambino arrives. It's, it's the celebration of the incarnation of Christ. That's why we have the Bambino. He, he reminds us of the fact that when Jesus was born, he didn't have any room for him at the inn. And throughout Advent, we're taking him into our homes and giving him room in our homes. And, and it's lovely that he's able to do that journey and arrive back at the cathedral to be part of the Christmas celebrations time for Christmas Day. Why do you like him coming into the house? Because he's so special and soft. He's cold. He was going to be cold. That's why he needs a special blanket, doesn't he? That's why he needs a special blanket. Did you have a blanket when you were born? When Bermino arrives with us, our children are quite young at the moment, so for them it really is a true reminder of what Christmas is about. And when they see the Jesus, they see, physically see the Jesus, it's, it's wonderful for them to be inspired by that. And when they come to our home, we have an Advent candle which we would light when the baby arrives. And we'll have a little prayer and um, just have a little chat about what Christmas is about, really, and reminding the children. Christmas is all about celebrating um, Jesus' birthday. That's right, and so having baby Jesus reminds us of that, doesn't it? And seeing Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christ came into our lives at Christmas and, and it's not about the presents, it's not about the tree, it's about, about Christ and, and that's what's so important in our lives and when he comes to us. I'm 
take them out for me? Okay. You take. At this busy time of year, even Father Christmas needs some extra help. That's really good, girl. Something Christmas, best time of year. Um, we all become Father Christmas and we do a toy appeal. The charity Pembrokeshire Action to Combat Hardship helps those who can't afford the added expense that Christmas can bring. Obviously children need to be fed and clothed still at Christmas, but to give them something extra at the time when everybody is giving and receiving. We're celebrating a birthday, so it's, you know, Jesus' birthday, it's good to give presents at Christmas time. And if the parents can't afford it, and we do have people that genuinely say Christmas was cancelled until Patch came along. We told our children, no presents this year. And then they hear about us and they hear they're going to be referred and the faces just light up. <laughs> we get the name, the age and the gender of each child and any special likes or dislikes. And we try to match up four or five really good quality toys with um, wrapping paper, sticky tape, uh, chocolates, art material, and that all gets put in a box and then delivered to the parents. We deliver during school time so that the kids don't know it's coming from us, so it's really from the mums and dads and not this anonymous charity. I came and helped last Christmas. It's just a year coming up now. I just heard about Patch and I was just like, it's a really good project. It's like really helping our community. I want to be involved in really kind of, as a Christian here, living out and living out my faith. I want to be able to just to bless the community around me. And so I just really thought, well, why, why not? Why can't I just, you know, put a few presents in boxes, give up a couple of days of my time and just really help out? It's like, it's my normal Christian walk. That's what God calls us to do, to really look after our neighbour and people around us. So for me, it's just part and parcel of what I'd normally do.